Welcome to the 2023 Lancaster Archery Classic. It's shoot up finals time from the Spooky Nook Sports Complex here in Mannheim, Pennsylvania. And welcome to the largest indoor archery tournament on the East Coast. Hi everybody, welcome to the broadcast booth. I'm Greg White, sitting alongside Matt Zernzak. Welcome, how has everything been so far this oh weekend? Oh my gosh, this is it. This is like the best two hours ahead of us of, of bare bow archery of, of the entire year. Just so excited. And we have had a lot of bare bow archers in the mix, haven't oh we? Oh yeah, a banner year, banner year. We had uh, 91 females. Uh, sign up. It's un unbelievable. And showing. that class has only been around for a couple of yeah, years. Just a couple of years, yeah. And, it's and quite amazing. That, they had to compete with the men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So why don't we take a look to see how everything happened? Because initially what happened was everybody showed up and, and uh, they had eliminations. But as we look at our schedule today, we started a long time ago, one o'clock east with Senior Open. We went all the way through and now we're down to Women's Bear Bow. And we're gonna have the women's bare bow. Four of the 91 that competed are getting ready to come out on stage and do what we call a shoot up. So after that, we have bare bow. So the shoot up rules are pretty simple. We had top four qualify. After we had qualifications and elimination rounds, the rank were tied by 11s and it's a bottom up format. So what happens is the fourth place qualifier is gonna shoot with the number three qualifier. The winner of that match goes to shoot number two. The winner of that match goes to shoot for the number one spot. So is it possible to be in the fourth spot and win this whole thing? It Absolutely. certainly is. <laughs> especially Bear Bow. Yeah, especially Bear Bow. As the crowd erupts with Bear Bow because we know it's getting ready to happen. The 12 ring is in play. Something we haven't seen a lot of people go after with Bear Bow, but it exists. A 1.5 centimeter white dot that's down, nestled in each target. You're allowed to call it once per end. And that makes a possible 136 points available here in our final shoot up. But let's go ahead and welcome the third member of our broadcast team who has been working hard all day long. Let's go ahead and get the archers onto the field of play right now. Okay, lady. Okay. Okay. My, my mic's dead. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Bear Bow! <laughs> And we're, we're very thankful to have, we, with Greg White in the booth, we have Matt Zernzak from Push Archery. Let's give him a hand. And once again, we have John Wirt. Hey, brother. Glad to have John back. John, take it away, buddy. Bearbow, we have uh, 354 Bearbow archers. Three hundred fifty-four bear bear archers from the entire world, from Australia to Sweden to Spain, have come to Lancaster County in January 2023 for the night Saturday night at the Classic is the Bearbo Final 2023. Let's hear it for Bearbo! Starting with the female archers, it's a shark tank in the female class tonight. Coming out tonight in fourth place from Martinsville, Ohio, a really good friend of mine and a person who made a, a display on this stage last year, Fawn Gerard. And the third place qualifier, Christina Percoli. <laughs> Christina chooses the left podium. Well, there you have it. <laughs> I'm telling you what. Turn, Zach. Why Bearbo? Why is everybody so jazzed about Bearbo? You know, it's it's such a wonderful class. It's a stripped down Olympic recurve. The barrier to entry to get in on it is not that high. You don't need sights. You don't need stabilizers. 
and we just have a ton of fun. Yeah, because you don't need a perfect score. You, <laughs> That's right. You're, you're there, always you, in it. You get into compound, and it's like if you're not shooting perfect, you're like, oh, when? That's Where right. am I, yeah, right? Absolutely. I, Rob Caulfield, a few years ago, he coined the term bare bow close. So mm -hmm. even if there's a point spread of 12 points going into the last two ends, it's still bare bow close. <laughs> like, it's anyone's game at that point. A couple familiar faces. Christina Percoli, third place last year at the Lancaster Classic. Mm -hmm. And Fawn Gerard. I mean, no introduction needed, right? It's Fawn. She's just... She's epic. She's epic. Mm -hmm. She is something special. All right, so here we are, 2023 Lancaster Archery Classic. These two archers are on platforms shooting in front of a large crowd under bright lights. They're shooting 20 yards at a 40 centimeter target face. And here in Bearbow, generally what you see is a single spot target mm -hmm. face, which sure. is an option. When you sign up for the Lancaster Archery Classic, you can actually choose the target face that you want to shoot three spot or a single spot, still 40 centimeters, but our scoring is done a little bit differently than say a traditional Vegas round. Sure, yeah, absolutely. So here at the Lancaster Classic, an X counts as 11 points. So a perfect round if you're shooting a standard Vegas face, if you will, or a World Archery multicolor face, a 600 round is actually a 660 here at Lancaster. Oh man, Juan just opened up a really strong shot. Now here in Bearbow, if, if this is your first time watching Bearbow, Golden Inn is fantastic shooting, especially mm -hmm. under pressure here. So you're going to you're gonna hear excitement coming out of my voice and Greg's voice here whenever we're seeing a lot of yellows being hit. So Vaughn opening up a good scout arrow, good strong Seven. shot into the nine ring is perfect. Christina throwing one here into the seven ring. She's going to make an adjustment. And again, bare bow, we're using the tip of our arrow to aim. You can see how Fawn's, what's she doing here? She's kind of addressing the string slightly down the string from the arrow. And that's to get her being able to sight down that arrow. And at 20 yards, she's been able to place the tip of her arrow right on that gold and execute her shot. And you can see Christina's crawl. It's crawling down the string. Her position on the string is slightly different. Nine, ten, and depending on her poundage, and her arrow weight, and her arrow length, it's just a sight. That's all we're doing. We're using a single pin sight, essentially. And that single pin sight is the arrow. And a great, great recovery. And so since we are using the tip of our arrow, and we're using our string blur to align ourselves as our rear sight, the lighting is really important. Mm. So when you come out here, Eight. it's really important you shoot a strong first arrow, and then you adjust from there. And Christina is, is showing how to do that. You can see her making that crawl right there. 30 seconds on the clock for each archer to shoot each arrow. The clock starts after the impact of the competitor's arrow. Seven. So seven, nine, seven for Propoli. Gerard, who on our shooter card and asking how you pronounce her name properly, <laughs> I don't actually know if I could say it on, on, uh, on the broadcast because there's children uh, listening in <laughs> and watching. Fawn, That's right. Fawn. She's great. Let's just say it's bad beep. <laughs> Fawn, come back here. Fawn, it's your job to get this crowd excited for tonight. Let them know uh, what they need to do for the rest of the evening. Bearbo! <laughs> hey! That's how we roll. Thank you, Fawn. Good luck. <laughs> Official score is 26-24, Fawn. I'm not sure if John Wirt really needed to ask her that question. <laughs> yeah, that's great. I think we all know the answer that's to that. That's right, absolutely. It's but, so it's part, but, but like, it is part of the energy. You can see that shake, fake, that <laughs> shaking some of that energy off as you say that. <laughs> Thank you, Fawn. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But it is part of the energy that Bearbo as a crowd kind of brings to it. You know, you and I both were shooting USA Archery National Championships, Outdoor Nationals. Uh, when was that? Back in September, mm -hmm. maybe late August. And, you know, you listen to the field of play with compound archers. It's all quiet. It's all serious. And then out of nowhere, someone we all bare bow and bare bow. <laughs> and, you know, it, it, it does a lot for people's energy level and it does a lot for tension as well. Absolutely. Yeah, we, we have fun in this class. That's, mm -hmm. There's no doubt about that. Archery is about as individualistic a sport as you can possibly get, and now you add Barebow and the entire community <laughs> onto that, the characters and it's, come out. it's next level, yeah, That's right. like Fawn, for sure. Fawn is not going to be happy with that shot. Mm -hmm. Christine hey. needs to capitalize on this opportunity here, because you don't get very many doors open when you're going up head-to-head -head against Fawn, that's for sure. I wonder if Fawn's husband, Ken, ever thinks back to himself, you know, Fawn says that her husband talked her into shooting archery. I wonder if he <laughs> regrets it at all. 
That's right. It is a lifestyle now. I mean, no, it's, it's taken them all over the world. I mean, Fawn has represented the U.S. in all the World Archery events, oh. World Archery 3D Championships, World Archery Field, you name it. She's participated and represented our country. And so, yeah, oh, man, Christina, Whoa. just a oh. shot. This is, uh, this, is the <laughs> this is the opportunity she needs to, uh, she and, needs to seize this moment, you know, and yeah. just keep the pedal down. And, and keep in mind, Christina was here, you know, last year and finished third. So, so mm -hmm. but it's been a year Ten. since she's had a crowd oh, absolutely okay, going exactly. bonkers because she puts one in right in the middle. That's right. You, you can hear in the background, we, we have these noisemakers going on, which is mm -hmm. pretty loud, man. It's new this year. Eight. Okay, another eight for Christina. It's going to be a tie game, I believe. Mm -hmm. Incredible match. This is great. Unofficial scores are Christina 27, Fawn 25. We're tied at 51 unofficially. <clears throat> Christina, this isn't your first time up here. No, it's not. I was here with you last year. Yep. Tell me, have you thought a lot about last year since then, training to come here again? Yes, I have. You have? Did you use it as inspiration? Do you remember it well, or is it kind of fuzzy what happened last year? I remember it well. Yeah. <laughs> Remember I mispronounced your last name last year? I sure do. Yes. I think I did it again this year. Confirmed score is 51-51. We have a tie halfway through this match. If you think how much real estate's available on the target, how many different possibilities there are without all the added devices of a Olympic style recurve or even a compound bow. The fact that it's a stick and a string shooting another stick. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The fact that we're tied right now, to me, always kind of blows my, it blows me away <laughs> thinking know. about it. I mean, it just seems like this class puts on a show. Like these matches are always so nail biting tight. And I think what makes Barebow so exciting, and we mentioned it earlier, is that you're never out. So even coming into the last couple ends here, even if it wasn't tied, even if it was within six points, six point delta in compound open pro, it's over. Yeah. Like oh, nails, yeah. nails in the coffin, 100%. right? It, it's over. In bare bow, that's just one arrow. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could throw one out in the five ring so easily here. I love Christina's form. Has that nice wide open stance. Hey. Man, great shot. Really Man. starting to find her rhythm now. Yes, she really is. By the way, Fon Gerard, Fon Girard. When asked what her major accomplishment is in archery, she simply said that she hasn't shot hey. anyone yet. <laughs> yet. Yet. Yeah. yeah. Keyword. <laughs> you know, John Wirt out there on the floor was asking Christina about the last year. She just had an awesome year. She uh, represented San Marino, the country San Marino, hey. in the 2022 World Field Championships. Um, she enjoys backpacking, rock climbing. She has a 10-acre farm where she, uh, she grows fruits, vegetables, flowers, and herbs. She's a health and wellness consultant. So Seven. does a lot of meditating and those mm -hmm. types of things. So I'm sure that's helping her through, manage the stress right now. Maybe she can help Vaughn with that seven. She was pretty disappointed after the release of that shot. Oh, she pushed the 12. Christina taking her time. Just needs to put a nice, strong, solid Five shot in there. Oh, yeah. great shot. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. You know that's what, amazing. Matt, and that's, you know, that's part of the experience is how do you manage that 30 second clock and how do you take the time at the beginning to calm yourself? Yeah, just take that extra second. This one's dying. <laughs> this is the third end. This is a chance to talk about your equipment. Uh, tell me what bow, what arrows, uh, what tab, who's helping you to do what you're doing tonight? Um, Ken helps me to do everything that I do tonight. Paul, of course. Um, I got 3D HV, Victory Arrows, um, Vortex binoculars I'm not having to use because everybody's telling me what I'm doing. Um, a XD Hoyt riser with um, custom Ken Gerard um, chest weights. Massive chest weights. How much does that weigh? Oh, I'll ask Ken. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, uh, Spigarelli, um, ZT, and a biter. And a Yoast! 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 And ruby red slippers.
Well, good news, Matt. Hey, we have our own noise We were now. able to get our hands on some of these <laughs> outstanding True Ball XL Lancaster Black Eagle Conquest these Thunder are, Sticks. These are great. Oh, that's what they're Look called. Look at the Thunder shoes. <laughs> of course, Fawn's coming, right? right? I mean, she knows how to do it. So let's talk about equipment since we were talking about uh, those weights on, on Fawn's bow. So mm -hmm. Bear Bow, World Archery Bear Bow rules is what we follow here at the Lancaster Classic. And you essentially, your bow has to fit through a 12.2 centimeter ring. Okay, so roughly about a four inch ring and it has to kind of snake all the way up the bow. So you could put any weights on your bow that you want, but it has to be able to fit through that ring. So that takes away long stabilizers, 30, 30 to six inch long stabilizers. Right. So we're weighting the bow. We want that bow to stay vertical. Like you can see, watch Christina's bow when she shoots. You can see she has a big weight below the grip. And what we're looking for is when we're pushing against that bow, when that shot breaks, we want the bow to jump out of your hand, stay vertical, and just be a nice stable platform to keep ourselves in the gold. Well, hopefully keep ourselves in the <laughs> yeah, gold, of course. Yeah. Elevated rests, plungers. You can see too that uh, you know, Christina had something in her fingers, and that's to help to catch the bow. That's right. That's away. right. Yep. Yep. We use finger slings. So you'll see most of everyone using a finger sling. So we're not gripping the bow and putting hey, excess no. torque in the bow. So Christina throwing that high seven. Let's see if she can recover and find the gold again here. Two point game. Nine. That's a great shot. Here we go. You can. Cut the tension with a knife in here right now. It is quiet. Ten. Oh my God. <laughs> she needed that. She needed that. That's a statement. Eight. I don't think that's going to be enough. This is the shoot up final, so oh, there whoever we go. wins that this. Was enough. That was enough. Unofficial score. Unofficial score. 104 to 103. Ball. Whoever wins this goes and shoots our second place qualifier. So we'll wait for that, but wow, that was an amazing match. You can cut the tension with a knife. I'm, yeah, I'm it's surprised. Amazing. I'm surprised one of the two didn't actually go for that 12 button again, yeah. just in case. I mean, because you could just push the 12 button and, and if still you shoot for the gold, 100%. And if you, hit, hit and if you went low, yeah, you yeah. get it. Because there's no, there's no. Oh, they changed. They took a point off. Yeah, that's, one of three that's what we thought. Yep. Bear bow. Bear bow. All right. Yeah, they think it's over, but it's a tie. <laughs> you guys are going to have to hug and smooch a little bit later on. <laughs> oh, wait, you're saying? What? I've never pronounced Fawn Gerard incorrectly. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what's She's the... referencing her card, uh, uh, what she wrote on how to like pronounce her name. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. All right. <laughs> yeah, those you know, magic Fawn's, shoes. Fawn's making a habit of jumping platforms. She did this last year in the yeah. finals versus Aaron Hayab. Yeah. <laughs> this is great. Familiar faces here. This is going to be a, a great couple matches here in women's bare bow. I mean, this kind of commentates itself, doesn't it? Half, right. <laughs> half commentates itself. It sure does. Officially 103, 103. Yes. This is the show we wanted. All right, so now let's see. Let's hear from our official how this is going to go. Yes. We are going to shoot one arrow. We are going to score that arrow. If the score is still tied, we will shoot a second arrow. Come on, let's do it. If the score is still tied, we will shoot a third arrow, and we will measure it closest to the center. You have choice to shoot first or second. second. You are shooting second. Yeah. Fawn, you will shoot first. Interesting choice. Mm -hmm. Let's go, everybody. Let's would that have been score. your choice? My choice would have been shoot first, put the pressure <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, I think so, too. I think I would have done the same. But Not Christina knows Fawn, so maybe there's something about her. That's right. Knowing your competition helps. Here we go. Now, would, would, there you go. Would you, would you not stomp on the 12? I would stomp on the 12, of course I would. Fawn says she doesn't need it. She's just going to drain 11 here. Inside out. <laughs> really taking her time. 
First arrow for score. Six. Bear bow. Bear bow. There you go. She's not going to be happy with that. Christina just needs to put a solid shot in there. There it is. Oh, yeah, there it is. All right, now the hugs and the smooches can happen. Yep. Fan favorite, Bon Gerard. We'll take $500 in fourth place home with her. Christina Procoli will advance to shoot against our second place qualifier after eliminations. Let's see if John Wart's going to introduce our next athlete to the field of play. They, of course, have to, the great staff here at the Lancaster Archery Classic, constantly replacing those yep. target faces. Putting the target faces on. Making sure now the strategy, are you bumping them off the platform and moving? So that's going to come into play. Now here. we have coming to the podium our second place qualifier from Italy, Cinzia Nuziglia. Shinzia gets to choose the podium. She left her there. Yeah, that's an interesting move. So Cynthia left. Christina on her spot. But the, here at the Lancaster Archery Classic, the higher-ranked archer gets to choose whether they shoot first or second. Oh, interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. As yeah. opposed to like World Archery, where sure. always, yeah, yeah okay. it's a little bit different rules. That makes sense. If you're just joining us, bare bow archery, women's bare bow, shoot up finals, 20 yards the distance from where the athletes are standing to where that 40 centimeter single spot target face is, scoring a little bit different than a traditional scoring rings you'd find at, at uh, Vegas or World Archery, the tiniest of the rings in the middle is worth 11 points. Then 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then at M. However, there's a little one and a half centimeter dot that's hanging down there somewhere about the seven, six. If they call it and they hit it, it's 12 points. First arrow flies for Christina, and it's all gold. So for Cynthia, she needs to just shoot a nice strong scout arrow no stranger to the stage she's been up here before nice, nice shot and a shot with that that's the, the scout arrow that you say we've seen that from the first two archers it's just been a little bit high yeah. so probably just different lighting than we had in the practice range oh nice. man great group over here it's amazing so Cynthia she is a amazing archer from Italy she has represented her country in every major tournament for world archery, field, you name it, 3D, uh, indoor, and she wins so much. She wins so oh, yeah. many competitions. World She's field champion in 2022? Mm -hmm. Yep. And that's it. That is a monster. That is the Olympics of Bear Bow mm -hmm. by far. Oh, look at that group, Greg. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Unbelievable. I love Cynthia's process. How she kind of comes up and stalls. Aligns everything, comes back, aims, fires well. This is going to be a great match. She just needs to bring this down a touch. John Ward's going to, I'm sure, have a word or two with Cynthia. After one end, Christina leads Cynthia 26 to 24. Cynthia, welcome to Lancaster. We're very happy to have you here. And you're one of many Italian archers who have come here to Lancaster to compete. Also many barebow archers, they come to Lancaster to compete. And we are so thankful that you make the trip and make the effort. We understand you are a world-class competitor. You've been doing this a very long time. Is this your first time up here? No, no. it's the second one and the third time in Lancaster. And third time, third time yes. So th three times to the classic, second time up here. I'm gonna ask you while I have an opportunity. It must be very special to shoot this bow. 
um, from your home country. Tell me what kind of bow you have. Yes, this is a Gillo. The riser is a Gillo GT in uh, 25 uh, length, and the limbs are Gillo 2, um, 34 pounds. Okay. Yeah, at my length are 32. Welcome once again to Lancaster, and we wish you the best of luck. I have heard people pronounce Gilo in so many different ways, <laughs> but too. now we know. Now we know. From Italy. It's not Gilo <laughs> right, or anything a, else. Or Gillo. Heard. Yeah, yeah, Gillo. <laughs> that's right. That's great. Gilo. Simply Gilo. Outstanding bow manufacturers, and I mean, just an absolute favorite for bear bow yeah. archers. Yeah. Yeah, Vittorio, the owner and operator of Gilo, uh, just a huge supporter of the bear bow community design specific bear bow weights. You can see on Christina's weight on the front of her bow, it's, it's like a little ax blade. It's like really cool little flare. Mm -hmm. uh, that's all factory made from, uh, from Italy, which is great. Do all bear bow archers at this level shoot with one eye open, one eye closed? Uh, no, no, it, it depends. It just depends on, on uh, how dominant your eye is, left or right eye. Some squint, some do a hard close, some keep your eyes wide open. John Demmer, you'll, you'll see him later on today. Shoots with both eyes open. Eight. Still hitting a little high. The group's insane, honestly. Yeah, it's, it's just, just great. hitting high. Yeah, so at this point you'll wonder if she will crawl down the string slightly more. Yeah, I did and see so, her just kind of look back and have a quick conversation with the coach. Yep, yeah. that's, that's right. <laughs> Christina just put one in the middle. Yeah, and her, uh, in, in her coach, Danielle, um, he is a great archer. He was actually on the stage two years ago at Lancaster nice. in the Bear Bow Finals. There, there she goes. She brought it down. That's great. So if she can start grouping there, the points are going to start racking up. And Bear Bow is 7-11. That is the possibility nice. of it. Nice shot. <laughs> Christina is on fire right now. Pride of Ferndale, Michigan. So we got about a three-point spread as we Christina. wait for the official. Look at that 11. It's just Christina, so solid. You. I know you came from Michigan for the uh, classic, but tell me about the jersey you're wearing and where you got it and why you're wearing that. I'm a dual citizen from a country that's landlocked within Italy called yes. San Marino. And so I between two countries, here and there. And you have uh, actually represented the country in international competition. Tell me about that. I competed in Yankton uh, in October at the World Field Championships. Wonderful. So that means the top four archers uh, in the ladies' barebow class, we had San Moreno, Italy, Sweden, and Ohio. <laughs> so it's truly a world-class uh, a uh, group of ladies up here putting on a show for the classic tonight and we welcome them all and all the international archers who made the journey to Lancaster for this great weekend. Thank you. <laughs> San Marino looks like it's in the It's right out yeah, it's right out it's right near Rimini, which yeah. is right on the Adriatic Sea. Uh, famous for Northwest. Yeah. Yeah. Famous for a racetrack where they raced MotoGP, Formula One, uh, World Superbike currently. The racer in you is coming out. Oh right? yeah, yeah, it's a great, it's a great <laughs> little, it, it's it's one of those, you know, it's a great little country, it's inside of Italy, and it's a really beautiful place. Yeah, it's great. The food is just amazing. Is it? But, oh, yeah. <laughs> You've been trapped in the booth all day, Greg. All day. <laughs> you get hungry? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> Christina just needs to keep the pedal down. If you're new to archery and you're wondering how this scores, as long as the arrow touches the line, the higher value is awarded. So you can see on, on the one last arrow that Christina shot, it was right on that line and she'll get credited with the higher point value, even though the majority of the arrow is sitting in the eight ring, it was enough to score her a nine. Seven. Back to that familiar spot. Mm -hmm. Ten. Oh, that's a great shot. She really needed that coming into this last end here. Let's see what Christina does here. It's like a six-point game. She can make up a little bit. 
more room between them here. Nine. Oh, that's great. There we go. Yeah, put a little bit, a little bit of space there. Yeah, look at that. And officially, three points, the difference. And that is not, not very close in the bow. After three ends, Christina leads 78-75. I mean, that is, you know, what's really interesting is if we look at the scores, you say 25-25 apiece, right? Yep. There's so many different ways to get that same score, and that's where Barebow is interesting. That's right. You know, you literally could go like 3-11-11, yeah. or you could go 8-8. Yeah, 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 yeah kind of. From Rob Caulfield, spends a lot of time building this show and building this shoot into something very special. And I think there's a lot of emphasis, just for Barebow archers especially, this is a really big stage for a barebow archer. How does it feel to be here? I know you've competed and trained a lot and you've been training for this event. How does it feel to be standing here right now? Uh, to stay here is uh, amazing, it's, uh, but it's very, very stressed. And uh, I think that we have to, thanks to Lancaster for give to Barbo the opportunity to be here and to compete uh, <laughs> in this place that is so stressed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Let's have a round of applause for Lancaster. All right, so let's wrap that up. That thought is um, it's very stressful to shoot, but we're yep. very appreciative that it's stressful to That's shoot. Right. Right? Yeah, Am exactly. I pretty close on That's that one? Exactly right. But that is a true competitor. I mean, you know, when do you not want to show up to a tournament and not be in a position that's like right. this. Absolutely. And, and that's the nice thing about this tournament is this this is the only tournament that puts Barebo on the big stage that shows off how exciting this class is and how exciting the competitions can be. These head-to-heads are just, and I misspoke prior to going to that last break there, three points is not, is, is very close in Barebo. Like we call it Barebo close. So, I mean, even three points in, is one arrow difference. You just throw one out into the six ring, that's and, it. Yeah. 11. Oh, oh. that's a nice start off the final bit. Here, it looks like we have a little lag in the scores. Yeah, Christina trying not to let the crowd. Yeah, that's right. Snapper focus. Just needs to put a couple more there in the goal. A little hot. A little hot. So it's 16 to 11. Second arrow for Christina. Nine. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh boy. Look at that target. Greg, look at that target. It's absolutely amazing. <laughs> In the stress. Cynthia, let's see what she does here. Six. 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 Mm -hmm. And all we need here is for Christina to put on a solid shot, just group it with her other two arrows, finish strong. Beautiful, Seven. beautiful, great, yep. great shot. That's, about, that's enough. Finishing in third place in women's barebow, Chinzia Naziglia taking home one thousand dollars. Third place at the women's barebow class at the Lancaster Classic 2023. Thank you, Chinzia. And wow. now to round out this field, one more amazing international competitor, the first place qualifier from Sweden, Lena Bjorklund. So Lena is an absolute competitor. She's one of my favorite female barebow archers. Just watching her compete, she is so focused, trains hard, from all the way from Sweden, and she she qualified top, champion. top. And not only that, she shot a 562 in qualification. John Demmer, the top qualifying male barebow archer, 560. She was the number one qualifier out of almost 400 barebow archers. Wow. She is a beast. Mm -hmm. And so I just, I, we are all so appreciative that they made the trip over here. Her coach, Eric Johnson, is 
just one of the best bare bow archers in the world. We'll see him competing later on. Just a power couple, I tell mm -hmm. you. Her fiance is Eric, her daughter is Alma. Mm -hmm. Yep. Four time world champion in field is Lena. <laughs> She's amazing. And now you have a very, very toasty and perfectly aligned and set up Christina Procoli going to go going up against this powerhouse. Shooting to 23. She's shooting 23s. It's like super drive 23s. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. There you go. That's what she, she does. She didn't need a 23 to hit that hey, one. Hey, Greg, Lena's in the house. Yeah, Lena's in the house. It might be Lena's house. She's here. So this was interesting, this, this decision to bump Christina off her platform. Lighting's different in here, yep. right? So that it's going to be slightly different. The camera boom. <laughs> that looks like it caught the 10. So the camera boom here on this right side of the stage where Christina's now on might be a little distracting. Like, we just don't know. It's right. different, right? Yeah. And for yeah, Lena yeah. to bump her off her game, Christina was getting hot there. Going on a streak, this, that was just a veteran move. Nice. And so in We're short order, Christina's just finding the goal again. Well, the production crew here from Competition Archery Media does the best job they can in this spooky new facility to make sure that lighting is as equal as possible. But there is always a slight difference. There's always a slight difference, absolutely. What what an end. <laughs> I mean, what an end for Lena. I mean, that's a great compound end. All right. I mean, these are, these are great groups. Gosh, they are. Unbelievable. But you're absolutely right. We have seen target number two, which is the right side target. Consistently from our shooters, it's been high, 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 high. What's interesting is that how difficult it seems to have been to make the adjustment. Here's John Wirt. Who has honored us to come and compete here in Lancaster tonight. How does it feel to be up here? Nervous as always. You don't look nervous as always. That was three of the strongest arrows we've seen shot all night. Uh, tell us about you and your coach. Who's your coach here tonight? My fiance. And uh, I think he's becoming my husband. He's becoming your husband. <laughs> Congratulations. Let's hear it for Lena and Eric. First shot, absolutely stellar. I mean, just. Unbelievable. I mean, you talk about Truly. that being your scout shot. I mean, can you get a better scout shot than that? Unbelievable. Look at her, she's just so excited. Look at that group. Maybe she's rethinking her target choice because she do have the, the option to shoot a three spot. <laughs> she looks like she's got enough super drive 23s yeah, yeah, in right. the quiver. Right. If she beats right. them up, she's got a couple spares. That's exactly right. Hopefully. Generally what happens, this is totally different. You know, when you get to this part, uh, you get to the shoot up stage, you have to have more than three arrows that you mm -hmm. might even have if you were shooting qualification sure, because, case. well, not just that, they have to pull the arrows and bring them back to you That's so you right. don't get them immediately like you normally would. Hey. Oh, come on. <laughs> just putting on a clinic here. Absolutely awesome. So Lena, back in 2019, she was, this was before the women had their own class. So the women bear bar archers would compete with the men in the same class. She finished fifth overall qualifier with the men in 2019. Uh, she got knocked hey. out in the elimination matches. She didn't get the chance to make the stage. And in 2020, she won this thing. You know, she just, she came here, so she's been here, this is her third time, and she's doing just fine. <laughs> oh my God, right, dude, <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh, and she's looking back, how was that? Is that all right? Is that okay? Should I make an adjustment? If I was her fiance, I'd be like, you're good. <laughs> yeah, you're good, you're good. You do you. Yeah. Seven. There it is, that group hitting slightly high. high. That was a really good observation that you made, that that right side stage just seems to be a little hotter than the left. Oh my God. I'd be checking that knock. Dude. That's unbelievable. Lena's also shooting a G-Lo setup. I mean, yeah, what can you do? I don't know. You know what I mean? How do you, this is gonna be a really strong, this is gonna be, a mental game here for Christina on how do you compete against somebody shooting 10 after 10 after yeah. 10. You can see a little congratulations there. <laughs> Unbelievable, look at that. Unofficial scores at the half. 
Lena oh, at 61, God. Christina I at mean, 49. Look how close those two are to being two 11s. Christina, just... another G-Lo Berbo up here on the podium. It looks like three of the four ladies shooting tonight are shooting G-Lo. Tell me why you chose G-Lo. Because it's Italian. <laughs> there is something special about Italian bows. When I think about Berbo and recurve archery, I think about all of the, the excellent Italian archers there have been over the years. Um, uh, what length is that rising? It's uh, 25 inches. Yep, and the limbs are long, 34 pounds. And I got a gilo weight, and a sniper rest, and a biter plunger, and a Yoast tab, and a Jaeger. Awesome Jaeger artisimi, the... From Michigan. From Michigan, exactly, from my home state. Wonderful, well, you're doing a great job with all of those things, and thank you for to the... To those uh, manufacturers who support these barebow archers and make the equipment that they need to compete with, it's really important today. Uh, a few years ago, there weren't the options that we have today, but because of the companies like GLO, uh, these archers have a lot to work with. Why is it that barebow seems to be the best work in the camera? I mean, they do a great job. <laughs> they do. This, this sport just thrives on support yes, for that, our athletes. Absolutely, there's no doubt about it. You know, Lena's supported by G-Lo, Easton, Gas Pro, Fairweather, <laughs> and she just, <laughs> just is where in the middle of this, this target out. I, I'm, in, I'm in shock right now. This is not, not that she doesn't do this in practice, but to do this on this stage yeah. with this pressure yeah. and not miss the 10 yet is incredible. Absolutely incredible. There you go, a little glitch there. She's going to fight through it. Line. <laughs> Maybe I should do that uh, yeah, for the right yeah, rank. I want to do that. That's great. Nine. Okay. Oh, there we go. She's wow. human. Yeah, she's human. <laughs> she gave two points back. She's human. That's great. I was, talk I was talking to Lena before, uh, before the show, or before the shoot down started, and she was saying that she did actually try other disciplines of archery. She has played around with compound and Olympic recurve as hmm. well. But it just seems that she found her niche. Eight. Ooh. I think she has a lot of points. She has a. She has a. There's a big, pretty big. There's a buffer. Yeah. There's yeah. a nice buffer there. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I think she's going to be okay coming into this. Even yeah. if this is a ten, you know, she's going to have a over ten point whole arrow gap, if you will. Seven. Man, just all but two. Yep. They're just above the half axis there. But what a clinic. Strong, I mean, strong shots from Lena. Tricoli's been putting on an absolute great Lena, performance great as well. You're tonight, just going up against the powerhouse. The that's produced tonight is that it goes out to the entire world, and I think it's helping to inspire barebow archers around the world because this is extremely popular video. It goes all around the world, and I want you to take this opportunity to say something to people who want to want to be here want to be like you what what can you say to these people to inspire them to come here and do what you're doing oh <laughs> that's a good can't you give me a tricky one yeah <laughs> first of all archery is fun yeah. practice a lot do your homework and have fun there you go i love it <laughs> uh, i think that if you don't feel like shooting don't because you won't improve your archery. So, shoot when you feel for it and have fun. Fun, fun, fun. fun, fun. Great advice. Absolutely amazing. Those words from Lena. She has one end left to decide the champion of the classic Berbo women's division. Three arrows remaining. And that is Sweden's Lena Björklund. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable archer. I like her color coding of her national colors there on her fletchings. She's using some <laughs> tape on plastic. Fletchings there, like spin wings or spider co. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You'll see it. You'll see a, a wide variety in bare bow. There's some people use those tape on. Um, like spin wings style, X wings, XS wings. And um, 
all her tens are just distracting my train of thought. It's unbelievable. But then you'll see Christina using feathers. Yeah. So indoors uh, here where there's no environmental impacts. No, you don't have to worry about wind drift or wet feathers. You can still use that. It looks like Christina's. Call the 12. Call the 12. Oh. Oh, that was so close. Good, Good for her. <laughs> oh, it's too bad you can only do it once per be. end. Oh, is that right? Just once, yeah. Wow. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm like coming out of my chair in the booth here. This is unbelievable. She cracked a little bit of a smile after that. Hey. Let's right. go. Let's just right down the pipe. Put another 10 in there for us. Robin Hood. <laughs> Good enough. Yeah, I'm Look at her. I mean, what are the chances that's not uh, a bear bow record? For sure, it's got to be in the women's class. Women's bear bow? No, I'm, I'm pretty sure. For the final oh. Yeah. Has to be. Lena Bjorkman. That's amazing. 2023 women's bear bow champion. $1,500 is Christina Brivkola. In first place, your 2023 women's bear bow champion, Lena Lena, who's this with you? Uh, this is my youngest daughter, Alma. Emma. 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 Yeah. yeah. Sounds yeah, like you on the mic. We are all so proud of you, and once again, so happy that you and your whole family come here to compete in Lancaster. This is a special stage for archers like you, and. Uh, we just are so happy for you. And now I want to introduce you one more time, the women's barebow champion, 2023 of the Lancaster Archery Classic, Lena Bjorklund. And Emma. I mean, just look at those scores. 33, without calling the 12, 33 is it's the unbelievable. Max. She drops two, she drops three. 27 was the dip, and she only drops three. That's bare bow. That's unbelievable. It is it's unreal. It's truly unbelievable. 118 total. <laughs> it's insane. What a great series. What a great top. These top four archers in the women's bare bow class was incredible. They put on a show. They Everybody did not disappoint. Have, uh, to take a break here for just a second. Incredible. We special, uh, well, we hope you certainly enjoyed that entertainment. Archers, Lena Bjorklund uh, from Sweden. Comes across with one of the best bare bow performances we have seen here at the Lancaster Archery Classic. We have more on the way, so don't go anywhere.